Hi, it's the Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm getting ready for work today. I'm already in my scrubs and got my morning coffee and I just need to put on a little face of makeup. I thought we could do it together. So running out this morning to get coffee, I threw a sweater on. I don't know that I'm gonna wear it the whole time, but it's, um, it's quite cozy for the moment. I've been trying to think about what I wanna wear makeup wise today. And I usually usually go pretty light because I'm in a mask all day at the office. Um, I work for a dentist and um, I'm always in a mask. And so all I think about is, okay, I don't need a ton of makeup. I just need to make sure that my dark circles are taken care of and that I've got some good brows on. But I have two new eyeshadow palettes. I know, I needed more eyeshadow, like I needed another hole in my head. But these were on sale as part of Ulta's Fall Haul. And I know I love the desert lights. So when I was like, you know what? I think I'd really like this. And then um, I heard pretty good things about the J-Cat Tri, what is it? The Tri Elements eyeshadow palettes from Andrea Mattigliano. And so I picked this one up. And I used this one yesterday and it was such a pretty look. Let me see if I can find that and I'll throw it in for you here. But it wore really well. Um, it's th These metallics are not as metallic as some of the other things I have in my collection. But this is so affordable. If you're looking for fun shades that you don't want to pay an arm and a leg for, I don't know, I thought they, they thought they did pretty good. I think it might be smart to start with eyes first today. I almost never do that, but I'm worried about glitter fallout, and I don't want to have to be worrying about that all day at work. I did this yesterday, and I normally don't. I'm using some of the Milani eyeshadow primer on my lids because I feel like drugstore eyeshadows, although they can be good, I haven't really tried anything from J-Cat before. And I don't know whether these are going to hold up without looking like they're settling in places or looking patchy. They wore beautifully yesterday and they lasted well with primer. So I'm going to do that again. I will try them on a non-work day without primer because you know me and eyeshadow primer. It always seems like a, okay, I get why we do it, but do I have to do it? Can I get away without doing it? When I'm wearing eyeshadow primer, I always set it with a light coat of powder. When I don't, I find that I don't get as easy a blend as I would like. And I know the idea is it's supposed to be grippy. <laughs> it's supposed to keep everything in place, but I don't want problems blending later. I haven't swatched these yet. <gasps> these just look so pretty. Oh no, now I'm in trouble. I'm gonna take my sweater off. I don't want any of these shades on this new sweater. Look how stunning these are. Aren't they just amazing? All right, I really feel like this green here is calling to me. I'm gonna start with the lightest matte in this J-Cat palette, and I'm gonna put that in my crease. I hope this look doesn't get too, too out of control. I'm gonna go in with this brown right here. It's the darkest matte neutral shade in the palette. There is a, a blue but i um, not gonna be reaching for that today. This is kind of like the basis of what I started with yesterday, where I started with the lightest matte, then I put this in the corner. But I'm really, really excited to put those metallics from the Flower Beauty palette on my lid. Earlier this week, I went to the eye doctor for my annual eye checkup. And the one thing I always do is I try not to wear any eye makeup the day that I go to the eye doctor because inevitably I start crying. Like the puff of air or, you know, if they put in glaucoma drops or anything at all, I'm always like crying. And so I went like eye makeup free and it was, it was really nice, but it felt kind of weird because the rest of my face was done up. You know, I had on concealer, foundation, powder, like blush and highlight and uh, a really fun lipstick, but you couldn't see it because I was under a mask. We're still wearing masks in medical offices, which is fine, um, but it was one of those things where from here up, all I was was eyebrows. <laughs> anyway, um, it also turns out that I need new glasses like every year now. And I know that's true for a lot of people, but for a long time, I felt like my prescription was stable and um, my eyes aren't at the point yet where I need glasses like constantly, but I'm just getting into that. Cause like I drive without my glasses on, I have prescription sunglasses, but if it's not sunny, I don't need them. 
and I can, you know, read without glasses, but now I'm starting to do the whole, like, you know, <laughs> and so my eye doctor was like, maybe it's time. Maybe we're there where you need, you know, progressives and you need like, you know, let's make sure we have everything just right. So when you put your glasses on, you never want to take them off. I think that has really been the hardest part for me. The reason that I haven't worn my glasses regularly is because I never feel like the prescription is just right. And, you know, add to that, like the pressure of the nose piece or the ear pieces. But the weird thing is now when I'm at work, I'm wearing a pair of safety glasses all the time. So I'm in safety glasses and a mask all day. So my ears have kind of been like, nothing bothers us anymore. And I feel like, you know, the, the little tiny headache I used to get from having a pair of, you know, weighted glasses here. And the truth is the ones I'm wearing at work have like a headlight on them. So they're even heavier and, and that doesn't bother me either. So I'm like, there really should be no reason that I'm not wearing my glasses all the time. I still haven't found a pair of frames that I like. I don't know, I might recycle a pair of frames because I have some frames that I loved from years previous and I might, I might just take a minute and say, hey, put them in these. Enough with the mattes. I'm gonna go into this olivey green shade here. I don't want too much of it. Cross your fingers that I don't ever do this. Oh, this is such a pretty shade. The one thing I'll tell you is I really feel like these eyeshadows in texture and performance, these ones from Flower, really remind me of the pressed pigments from Sydney Grace. I'm gonna take the lightest gold in here and hit the inner corner and kind of tap it over the edge of the green where it meets up here. Kind of blend these two together. And I think I'm gonna take this shade here from the J Cat palette, which is kind of like a really pretty bronzy brown and put it right here on the outside edge. I don't feel like it's quite as metallic and reflective as the ones from Flower, but it's, it's pretty. I hope the month is going well for you. I can't believe it's already October. My husband's birthday is coming up. I haven't gotten him anything yet. You know what's funny is you think you know someone. And then I said, you know, just, just to make sure we're on the same page, why don't you put together, and it was basically, I told him, put together a birthday list so that if anybody asks what they should get you, I'll just forward them your list. Like, you know, my mom, his mom, my brother, his brother. And really, I did it for myself. <laughs> because at this point, we've been married for 20 years. We've been together, I, I think next month will be 27 years. Like, I think I know him pretty well. He has everything he needs. He has most of what he wants. And I'm like, what else is there? And I feel like I'm a little bit of an easier customer because you could buy me a necklace or a pair of earrings or a lipstick and I'll be happy. And maybe, maybe there's a little bit more to it than that, but I'm like, what, what? I just can't go down to Sears and buy him a wrench. I mean, he probably already has that one. So <laughs> I'll tell you, I was surprised what I found on my husband's birthday wish list. A lot of stuff I had never heard of, I hadn't even considered. And I was like, oh, wow. I, I had no idea, no clue. I'll finish the eye look up after I get the rest of my face on, but I have been really curious and I don't know whether these colors are even close enough. This is one of my favorite full coverage uh, concealers. This is Estee Lauder's Radi uh, Double Wear Radiant Concealer and this is the lightest shade in 0.5 and I have really been loving the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. And my curiosity was, can I put one on one eye and one on the other and see how they wear? And I feel like probably this is Huda Beauty's second lightest shade. This is called 1.1N. So um, I feel like the Huda Beauty is maybe not as yellow. It's also a little bit more full coverage. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to do one on one eye, one on the other, and just see how the day goes. I picked this up last year on a whim. I was wanting to get the Estee Lauder Holiday, what is it, their beauty box or extravaganza, I forget what it's called. Anyway, the one that comes in the train case. That's a lot of coverage. Oh, it might be too much. But to do that, you had to spend $45 in Estee Lauder. It was purchase with purchase. And so I picked this up as well as a set of holiday lipsticks to be able to purchase the beauty box. 
And um, this was a huge hit with me. I really, really, really liked it. This I picked up when I heard Andrea Ali talk about it. Uh, she's a makeup artist based in Paris, and I really enjoy her makeup aesthetic and um, her recommendations. So when I saw this, I was like, yes. And I have been using this, I think since I picked it up in August, almost nonstop. I'm just gonna use a little bit of the Catrice uh, HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I have the shade 10 Light Beige for foundation today. Nothing exciting is happening right now. We're kind of in the midst of, you know, regular everyday life where, you know, the kids go to school, my husband and I go to work. Um, we're not traveling anywhere. We're not having any people come to visit us until later this month. Um, and I'm kind of looking forward and planning that out a little bit. But um, I, I kind of love and hate this time of year where we're just putting our heads down and, you know, kids are doing homework and going to school and we're just living everyday life and nothing exciting to look forward to. Because I feel like the warmer months, you know, sometimes there's um, trips that we'll take or people will come and visit. Um, we had kind of a fun summer where, you know, people came to see us. We went to go do things. And now it's just like, oh, yeah, back to the grind. <laughs> But there's also something really fantastic about that. And I guess for me, being a creature of habit, I really love knowing exactly what I'm doing and kind of getting into a routine. I really like getting an opportunity to try again tomorrow. Can I make it any better? Can I do it any better? And I sometimes I feel like that's rather boring, but I really like being good at all the things that I do. And the more I do something, the better I get. The one thing I like about this foundation is it actually even though it does have some coverage to it, it doesn't ever feel too heavy. I do feel like it's a little dark, you know, compared like from here to here, but I don't think it's the end of the world. I'm trying to decide which concealer I like better and I feel like I have better coverage and I'm not wearing any under eye corrector today on purpose. I feel like I like get better coverage from the Huda Beauty than I do from the one from Estee Lauder. Um, it's a nice concealer, but Maybe my Huda Beauty just knocked Estee out of the running. I normally don't set with the puff, but I'm, I'm really trying to get nice all day wear without my mask rubbing anything off. I'm throwing on the Beauty Pie Awesome Bronze today. I have the lightest shade in Sunnyside. This has been like a surprising huge hit with me. And I don't know why I say surprising. And I think it's because I've tried their um, powder blush formula, which I thought was okay, but not my favorite. So much so that, you know, I, I recommend the cream blush over the powder blush, but I really like this formula. I think it's nice. This is a, a perfect mix of just a little bit, it's not really satiny, but it has a little bit of, of life to it. It's not a complete flat matte. I pulled this blush for my um, October makeup bin. And, and this is one, it's from Clinique. This is the shade 20 Mocha Pink. I don't know if they still make this formula anymore. I picked this up several years ago. Um, I was trying to recreate a look, and if you dig back through my YouTube channel, you'll find it, of the first makeup I ever purchased. And I went to the Clinique counter in 1989 with my mom and the ladies in the white lab coats built a whole face of makeup for me. And that I think was like my eighth grade graduation gift from my mom. She's like, let's get you some makeup. And, um, and I loved it. And it was very, it's a very nostalgic thing. And so I went looking to see if I could recreate that. I went back to Clinique and some of the shades were there and some of them weren't, but Mocha Pink was one of them, but I don't know that they still make this formula anymore. And I feel like this is a really pretty color, especially on my fair skin, a little bit of blush, not too much. And growing up in the eighties, I'm all about the blush especially good blush draping, but I'm trying hard not to overdo it anymore. I picked up a different one powder wonder from Beauty Pie. This one here is their, what's it called? Exquisite Light. And this is supposed to be kind of like an all over setting powder, but I feel like it's a little much that way. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to pull out a clean brush and see if we can kind of buff over this area bring a little light to the face without it being too much maybe 
calm down the cheeks a little bit. I've kind of only been using this kind of like a dedicated highlight because it is a very glowy powder. You can see it. <laughs> and putting it all over today was just kind of like on a whim. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Maybe I'll look like the Tin Man all day. I'm a little quiet this morning because I'm kind of thinking about what's on the schedule at work today. You know, whether I'm going to be, I don't know. I should have looked ahead when I was at work yesterday. It never even occurred to me. I always like to know kind of what to expect, um, but I always like knowing what's going on. So I feel like right now, I usually don't do a get ready with me on the days that I'm going to work because I, I feel like I need to kind of get in a mental headspace so I'm prepared for work. But um, all of these products from Ulta's Fall Haul have been sitting here on my desk and I was like, I want to use them, but I want to use them um, in a get ready with me. And so the Flower Beauty is, today is the first day getting in that, um, but a lot of the other stuff I've, I've been playing with already. For the under eye, I'm just taking a mixture of those two matte shadows I used earlier, just right underneath the eye. I'm going to add a little bit of this brighter gold color right here in the inner corner and kind of take it down a little bit onto the lower lash line just like on the very inside edge of the lower lash line. I feel like this eye got a little bit more pigment than I intended. So I finally got my liner and mascara on and I really like the way this eye look turned out. I think it's really pretty. I do really like the green with the gold and kind of like that deep bronzy brown on the end. Um, I'm really happy with it. Now, this is something that I know I already like and I've been using quite a bit because it arrived more than a week ago and instantly when I pull it out of the Ulta box, I put it straight on and then it went straight in my purse. This is the Burt's Bees Glossy Balm. I have the shade Eat, Drink, and Be Cherry. This is very much one of those lip gloss in stick form. It has a nice shine to it, but what I like about it is it's not too heavy of a color. This is one of those that I even feel all right about putting on without a mirror. I don't know that this is the perfect shade for this eye look, but I have been keeping this literally in my scrubs pocket because I love how it feels on my lips. It's easy to pull my mask down, swipe on a little bit more, plop it back up and keep going. And then when I take my mask off at lunch or at the end of the day, I don't have like this extreme color all over the inside. Now it does transfer to the mask. It's a glossy stick situation, so it's not going to be transfer proof or anything like that, but it is so sheer that when it gets to the edge of my lips and it does a little bit go out because I'm talking to patients and my mask is right there and it's rubbing up against my mask and my mask touches outside of that area. Um, I find that it doesn't end up looking really out of control and this is one of the deeper shades. I think it's because it is a lighter formula and because it is rather sheer it does really well because like that's two swipes. And that's not gonna give you clown mouth if you're wearing a mask. Now, if you're not wearing a mask, I've been wearing this a lot on non-work days, and mm, I do really like it. This is what I was hoping those Maybelline, what are they called? It's what I was hoping these Maybelline green editions would be. These are just not quite as glossy, and they're definitely more pigmented. If you like tinted balms, you would really like this. If you also like those really shiny lip gloss stick sort of products, like um, the one that they used to make from Marc Jacobs, the Enamored Lip Gloss Stick, or the lip cushions from M Cosmetics, or the lip serums from Makeup by Mario. This is not quite as juicy as the Makeup by Mario, but it really does feel nice and comfortable on the lips. It's it's super, I don't know, I think you'd really like these. And these are what, $6.99? I think they're really, really nice. They were on sale during Ulta's Fall Haul. I kind of wish I had picked up a nude shade because I feel like a nude would go better with this look. But I wore this the other day, I put my sunglasses on, I threw on a little bit of this, and I scribbled them on my cheeks and patted it out as I was driving my kids to work. <laughs> it looked great, both on my cheeks and my lips, and I went the rest of the day like that. I'll just tell you, I have really been enjoying this. It doesn't last forever, but I'm happy to reapply.
I did pick up um, a Vanillico Clean It Zero, um, which is a cleansing balm that I really love. It's the first Korean cleansing balm I ever tried, and I got their ginormous, enormous size. I think it's like six ounces. So I have a huge tub of makeup remover just waiting to get dipped into. I also picked up a body cream as well as a sugar scrub from Tree Hut, their Tropic Glow Scent, which really smells like the Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro. I picked up two more of the Essence Stay 8 Hour Lip Liner. Um, I have kind of like a deeper red shade. This one is is called Now or Never. And then this pink is unforgettable. And I picked up this blue liner on a whim. I really like the idea of brightly colored liner, but I don't want to pay, you know, Pat McGrath or Urban Decay prices for it. I want something that's going to stay. So I picked this one up because it had pretty good reviews. This is the LA Girl Shockwave. Look at that. It's a really nice gel but it just like glides and it has some really <laughs> intense pigment. I tried it on the other day, sometimes like before the end of the day and I wash my face, I'll just take whatever's new, see how it applies. And this applied really nicely. And I think it's a really fun formula. I don't know how it wears. Here's hoping it wears really well. Um, but I've been a little hesitant to, to put it on for a work day because I did notice that when I finally took it off after having, you know, drawn some on and played with it, that it was really hard to get off. And if this ends up any place where I don't need it, it's going to be impossible to fix while I'm at work. I won't be able just to quickly run into the bathroom, you know, and do a little bit of this and off to the races. I mean, it's, yeah, it was pretty, you know, we're there forever. But I'm hoping that this turns out to be not just a fun color, but one that I can trust and put where I want it and leave it alone all day. As somebody with watery eyes, I just don't have patience for eyeliners that don't stay. For many years, I quit wearing them because my leaky left eye, I used to have, you know, both my eyes leak. They do occasionally, but it's always perpetually my left eye. And I feel like certain eyeliners just could never stand up to, you know, the leaking left eye. I find that the one that I'm wearing today from Inglot wears really well. The Pat McGrath Permagel wells really well. I do really like the ones from Beauty Pie. What are they called? Their Ultra Color Pro Gel Liners. These work really well for me. The one from Persona does and the M Cosmetics Illustrative Liner wears pretty well. If my eye is leaking too much and I do too much of this, like where I'm trying to wipe the tear away, I think it'll kind of go through anything just with repeated wiping. You know, but I feel like the tear itself is not going to wear down any of the products that I like. I'm kind of hoping that this falls into that category because this is the sort of liner, I think it's under $5, where I would be willing to get a green, you know, get a gold, get, get some other fun shades because I, I do like colored liners, but I would be keeping these strictly to the lash line. Hey, thank you so much for watching today. I would love to know, did you pick anything up during the fall haul? If you did, let me know what you picked up. And um, if you have any experience with any of the products that I'm talking about, like this Burt's Bees Glossy Balm or the eyeshadows that I use today, uh, what are your thoughts? Do you like them? Do you have recommendations like shade recommendations or ways that you use them that are really fun? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have an incredible day and I'll see you again soon.